right, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. And today, we're gonna be taking a look at another brand new 2022 Lemax Agatha's Apothecary. I hope I said that right. <laughs> Let's get into it. Okay, so right off the top, I want to send a huge shout out to our sponsor, Weffy's Closet. It's a one-stop shop for all of your jewelry needs. So check her out at weffiescloset.com or on Instagram at weffies underscore closet. Okay, so Agatha's Apothecary, here are the facts. It was released, of course, in 2022, and the SKU number used both by Limax and Michaels is 25848. Now for some dimensions. We have 12.60 inches high, 10.04 inches wide, and 6.50 inches in depth, so relatively large for what you get here, people. Product type, sights and sounds, and it is made of, you know it, resin. Now let's talk power. We have 4.5 volts DC and it draws about 350 milliamps. So please, please, please keep this off of those multi adapters. Only use the single power supplies on this. 350 milliamps is going to kill and eventually short your house and who knows maybe even your multi adapter if there's other things on it so just do yourself a favor keep it off all right as for your adapter yes it is included and the switch is going to be your standard power volume roll switch now let's talk price. We have $159.99 at Michael's. I believe this house is sold other places, but it's all in that ballpark. However, they, at the time of filming this video, it is already on sale for 30% off. So that about wraps up all of the facts. So now it's time to take a closer look. So starting from the top here, there is a very defined, that's right, defined roof on top of this thing. It's really well molded. Uh, not a lot of different colors going on, but look, there's still a little silver accents, you know, the chimney, the little rooftop brown trim. So, you know, kind of cool, but however, there is a highlight on the roof. It's going to be this skeleton on the right-hand side. Uh, he's sitting on, I, I don't know, some kind of a chimney or something with their potions, who knows, I have no idea what it is, but he's sitting up there and he has a really cool like purple light glowing on him at night and it's just a, one of those fine accent pieces that we don't always see on a roof of a building but on this particular one and for the price and that's kind of what you're going to get in these top tier houses you're going to expect the best of the best all the way around okay so as we work our way more towards the middle there is going to be a bunch to see so go with me here the first and like huge star of the show is going to be another skeleton floating in this like potion. He's mixing the potions, he's stirring it and it goes around and it's very silent by the way. This is another one of those houses this year that the motor is very, very quiet, but really nicely detailed, very smooth and uh, you know, a good size for an accent on the house. A couple other things you're gonna notice up here is a witch who's hanging over the balcony. It looks like she's pouring some stuff into the potion, if you will, that the skeleton is mixing. There's also going to be this really cool, like, skeleton RX logo thing. Uh, something to do with the potions, I'm sure. Almost reminds me of something, like, from a pharmacy or something like that. Uh, next up on the list is going to be the witch that is also making her own potion here on the right side of the house. She does not move, but she has a cool little light over her. And again, there's some frogs over here as well, so I don't know if you picked up on it earlier, but in the skull mixture, uh, there was also some frogs there so which frogs you know you get the idea next up is going to be the logo itself it says Agatha's apothecary it's a beautiful little sign not tremendous amount of color but the purple does play off nicely because there's a lot of purple on this house uh, but the font if I can speak on that for a second really really fitting for this house I, I am not exactly sure what it is I love so much about it but for this particular house what it's called what the theme is it fits really well and shout out to what appears to be kind of like a little parody of the Starbucks logo above it. Okay, so now working our way to the bottom here, there is again a lot to see. So we'll start with like the revolving uh, barrels and frog. I, I assume these are incoming ingredients that they use to make these potions or whatever it is they're serving. Uh, but really cool, again, smooth and very, very quiet. Uh, there's also some rock background and rock work around it as well. So that kind of helps fills it in. And again, you know, for the money you're paying, I'm gonna keep going back to this. When you see a price tag like a 
$160. I really expect the best of the best, every detail, every light, every sound effect. So if you're looking for something in the witch theme that is at that top tier level, yeah, this is gonna be a really good house for you, especially at 30% off, by the way. Uh, but yeah, it's got the bells, it's got the whistles. So let's continue on here. There is a really cool looking door. It doesn't really fit the rest of the colors in the sense that there's not much red on this piece. However, for some reason, the contrast does work here. So it really sticks out and it adds like, almost like an accent, really. I was a little nervous about the color change there at first because there wasn't really much red but it works it adds this really cool little accent that you don't even see coming really uh, but anyway beautiful doorway it's great to see uh, next up is going to be there is some witches doing some kind of I'm assuming order pickup or something like that of whatever these potions are that they're making inside uh, so again you know it's heavy to the witch theme Okay, so next up, I wanna go to the right side of the house here. This is really neat. Normally, all the action takes place, you know, on the face of the building somewhere, but again, bells and whistles, this one is not like that. It has action in the front and even action on the side and some really cool stuff. So let's take a look at it here. There is a gear that is sticking out for operating stuff that's going in inside. It's got a little light above it, but more importantly is this like green tube. Uh, really cool. Really cool. It almost plays off the laboratory from this year as well. I'll try to get a picture of that up on the screen for you now. Uh, I don't recall the name off the top of my, my head here. But anyway, so it's got the gear. It's got this like neon green tube. And then below that is this, I don't know, this leftover garbage shoot of the leftovers from everything their waste that they're not using, you know, that kind of thing. So it really ties in, you know, they're making something here and you're seeing it from start when it comes in on the front and you're seeing it on the exit of, of what's left, you know. Uh, so really cool, and there's a lot of rock work, of course, and even on the back side of this thing is really neat. They didn't skimp on anything on this house. I mean, it's absolutely fantastic. If you're cool with the resin thing and you're looking for that top tier witch, this is going to be it for this year. So really cool. I like it. I, I'm kind of surprised it wasn't a Michaels exclusive, to be honest with you, but nonetheless, you can get it. Pick yourself up one, it's really cool. So let me give you some closing thoughts. Yes, it's $160. Yes, it's got the bells and the whistles. Should you use your coupons? Obviously, you know, so it is made of resin. I know some people are a fan of that, some people aren't, but for this house, it does work. And you're gonna hear the soundtrack here in a minute and all of that cool stuff and how it looks at night is just absolutely wonderful. Uh, there is a couple, you know, pumpkins scattered around and things like that. Um, I did pick this one up for Michaels as well. It was one, however, that I waited, you know, to actually see it in person before I purchased it because I was unsure initially myself. But once I saw it in person, I was like, nah, this would be really cool for the collection. But particularly those, you know, who are heavy into that witch theme you know, we don't get a lot of heavy witch themes that have the full tier bells and whistles. So this is going to kind of fill that void a little bit. So it's cool. The mold is done really well. The details are cool. You're going to hear the soundtrack in a minute. There is a lot going on. It's quiet. It's smooth. And it's really good size. So that about wraps things up, guys. I'm going to go ahead and hit the light so you can see and hear this thing in its full glory. I thank you, as always, for continuing to support my channel. And please, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you on the next one. Oh hi! Come on into Agatha's Apothecary Shop. The place to be for all your spells, potions, and hexes. Today only 50% off of frog's breath and spider legs. Excuse me, is this the deadly nightshade? I need about four bottles to come Stop all motion. Just a dash of snake's blood and a few raven's eyes. And this motion is ready to go. Oh, hi. Come on into Agatha's apothecary shop. The place 
to me for all your spells. <laughs>